Today I'll show you 9 useful Procreate tips and features, some of which you probably haven't seen before. Whether you are a beginner or advanced Procreate user, these tips can help you get even more comfortable with Procreate. Make sure to watch till the end and let me know how many of these tips you knew before in the comment section below. Let's get started! Tip number 1. Say you are working on something and you want to keep a specific layer visible and make all others disappear. You can do so by tapping and holding your finger here and all other layers will become invisible. When you are done and you want to turn it back, simply tap and hold at the same spot again and the hidden layers will come back. Tip number 2. You want to fill the shapes of an object but you want to keep your line work on a separate layer. It is very easy to do. First, create a new layer right below the line work. Then go to the line work layer and select Reference. After that, go to the new layer. Let me fill these parts with colors. And as you now see, the line work and the colored cube are different layers. Tip number 3. You want to draw within the lines of your shape and you don't want your brush strokes to go outside the lines. There are a few ways to do that. The first and probably the most common way is to create a new layer above your shape and select clipping mask. When you do that, what you draw won't go outside the lines of your shape. The second way goes like this. You create a new layer, but this time it doesn't have to be right above your shape. It can be anywhere. Let's go to our cubes layer, click on select. When you do that, Whatever you draw on the new layer will not overflow the cube. Third and the last way to do the same thing. Select your layer. Swipe two fingers to the right to select alpha lock. Then you'll see that your strokes will not go outside your layer. But if you go this way, everything you draw will be on the same layer. You may want to keep that in mind. Tip number 4. We have three objects here that are in different colors. They are all on the same layer and we want to color them in same color. But how? Well, you first slide two fingers to the right so that alpha lock is selected and then click fill layer see they are all in same color now if we didn't select alpha lock it would have filled the entire canvas in the same color tip number five so you know how to duplicate a single layer but you need to duplicate multiple layers how do you do that well first select your layers then tip on group to create a group and after that duplicate the group in second way you don't have to create a group you just select the layers then drag and drop them inside the canvas as you see the duplicated layers will appear on top then you can do whatever you want with them if you want to copy a layer from one canvas to another, you can select your layer, swipe three fingers down, select copy and go to your gallery. Open your desired canvas, swipe three fingers down and click paste. It will now appear on this canvas as you see. If you want to copy multiple layers on another canvas, you go and select the layers, drag them, go to gallery and just drop them here. 
You can copy both single and multiple layers this way. Also, if you want to copy a layer on a new canvas, you drag the layer again, go to gallery and drop it on this plus button. It'll start a new project and paste your layer there. Tip number six. In this tip, I'll show you how to draw perfect objects. First of all, if you want to draw a horizontal line, you just draw and tap your finger on the canvas. It'll make a straight horizontal line. You can do the same with a vertical line. Also, if you draw a straight line, tap on the canvas, you can change its angle by 15 degrees each time, like this. 90, 75, 60, 45, 30, 15, 0 degrees with horizontal axis. This feature may be useful if you need angles. Tip number 7. This tip is a little one about selecting pure colors. If you go to the color picker, double tap on this whitish area, it'll select pure white. If you double tap in this dark area, it'll select your pure black. Tip number 8. Did you know that you can change the slider's place? Simply hold your finger on it, pull it and then you can move it up or down. It can help give you more flexibility. You can also go to Prefs and locate it on the right side or back to the left side. Tip number 9. You found a cool color palette on Pinterest or somewhere, but it has only a few basic colors. You probably need more than that. I usually use more colors than this, like one basic color, two colors for shading and another one for highlighting. To create these colors, we'll first create a new layer and set it to multiply. I'll pick this color here and then draw and fill here, just like this. I'll now pick this color and do the same here. And now on the same layer, I'll pick the darker colors we got and paint on the right sides. This will be our second shading colors. I'll now create a new layer and set it to screen. I'll pick the primary colors and this time we are creating lighter colors than our basic ones to use for highlights. So now we have a more detailed 20 different colors versus the 5 that we had at the beginning. Let me quickly show you an example of how to use these colors for shading an object. I'll select this base blue color here and draw a circle. Then fill it. I'll create a new layer that's a clipping mask. Let me pick a brush here. Now I'll pick the second color and add the first shading. I'm going to select the darkest color to add the second shading color. Now with our lightest color I'll add highlights here. Let's select Gaussian Blur to soften it a little bit. Yes. You can also add some reflected light. Its color depends on the background and the surrounding object's color. I'll go with this light pink here. Let's add some highlights on the sides. Yes, now we have a perfectly shaded sphere. That's it. If this video helped you, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Also, let me know how many of these tips you knew before in the comment section below. 
Thank you so much for watching and have fun creating.